here. Where the where the parents at? Yes, you know, the parents. Yeah. Went back to school shopping this year. It was brutal, wasn't it? Yeah. Man. Those bulletproof vests are expensive. <laughs> it was cheaper just to buy mine a Glock. <laughs> the teacher had to shoot back. Daddy's little sniper. <laughs> <laughs> And that is why she lives with her mother. <laughs> but it's, it's the fall of the year. We're getting into the end of mowing season. I love mowing the grass. I don't think people realize how much like sex mowing the grass really is. You always work up a nice sweat while doing it. There's always that familiar aroma in the air after you're done doing it. And if it's being done correctly, it should always get the neighbor's attention. <laughs> and then you got all the doodads and the equipment to go along with it. You got weed whackers. I'm a weed whacker. But you got blowers. You got baggers. Some on double. <laughs> and then you got then you got edgers. You hear a lot about edging in these days. I think the limit are on edge. I'm gonna keep it on the edge. All right, moving right along. <laughs> moving right along. I uh, I don't like the set. I don't. <clears throat> we said that. I don't like to say the name of my favorite candy bar anymore. I'm afraid that someone's going to hear me ask for a Snickers and hear me the wrong way. I think it's the hard R. Ooh. And I don't want to say Snickers because that's just going in the wrong direction. <laughs> so anymore, these days, I just ask for one of those sweet chocolate things with nuts that always satisfies. It's got the vein on top. They always know what I'm talking about. My ex-girlfriend loved her. She couldn't keep him out of her mouth. You know? I'd come home from work and she would have two or three that day. She was eating up all mine, you know? But, uh, different girl, but um, I dated a girl this one time who lost an eye in a car accident. Her name was Beth, with one eye. <laughs> now that joke would be way funnier if her name was Kim. Uh, but that's just that's just what we called her. You know, it's like Jake from State Farm. She was, she was Beth with one eye. There was two of them too. There was Beth with the bush. You know, <laughs> Death with one eye. Of course, everybody had a bush back then. But Beth, man, she was a kinky girl. She uh, she'd take her glass eye out and she'd give you a winky. She was one of the best. I tell you, because a girl like that, she's gonna have your back. Beth, she always kept an eye out for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tell me if you agree with this. And I, I think it's easier to have sex with different people than it is to cook in different people's kitchen. Right? There you go. I mean, because a boob is a boob. Right? But your pots and pans are all different, and your stove's electric. I'm, I'm used to the gas. You know? I can find the clit just fine. You know? But where's your spatula at, lady? <laughs> now look, I, I've talked a lot about sex up here tonight. And uh, I just want you to know, being a recovering sex addict is tough. If you can't feel for it, man. Instead of going through 12 steps, you gotta try not to go through 12 stepsisters. Um, and instead of a special coin for every year of sobriety, all I get is this rash. Um, 
Yeah, man. I think Beth gave me something. You remember Beth? The one-eyed, always horny, any color people in her? Yeah, I don't know, man. Last time I saw her, she looked a little cockeyed. <laughs> all right, thank you all very much. Keep that energy going for your next time.